All right, so since this video is coming out after SEMA, we can kind of spill the beans here. So we're actually working with S Club. Uh, so I'm in their super sick showroom right now. They got a couple of their past builds. Uh, I'm going to show you the one that they won best in show with last year. So we're super excited to be working with them. Uh, but we're here today to just make sure everything's good with the engine, make sure everything's what we expect. So when we wire it up, everything's going to be good. So this is the car the guys won with last year. This is the Mercedes Gullwing. And it's honestly a really well done build, which is why we're so excited to be working with these guys. They definitely have like awesome quality, so I think this finished product is going to be really sick. And then uh, two other things that we need to mount, so I need to know where uh, flex fuel, the, the sensor. sensor. Probably towards the firewall where so the light's coming up. This-ish? Yeah. Okay, I'll loop it back. I have it on this side of the harness, but we can I can make it turn back, so that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, boost controller. Where do you want to put that? Uh, that I'm not sure yet, because it's not in the car. Okay. So where I, want I will probably, for both of those, just do like a Deutsch connector. And then we'll take down, we'll add the end on it okay. when we're ready. Okay. Because that's something we could drop on at the last second once I have a better sense of length. For sure. So I'll just put, I'll connectorize them and then we can add them real quick at the end. No matter what type of Subaru powered harness we are wiring, the first step is planning out everything. Before we touch a single wire, we know the length, routing, and connections that will need to be made. This makes the whole process faster and more accurate. This clip shows the process that will be done on every wire, cutting it to length, stripping it of the outer sleeving, and crimping the terminal into place. There are a few hundred wires in this custom harness, so let's speed this process up a bit. Brian is currently wiring the main engine receptacle that will be the beginning of the intake manifold harness. We use Tefcel wire for this part of the harness to make sure it withstands the heat of the engine bay. Once the wires are all inserted into the connector, Brian will gather them into groups to route them to the correct locations on the engine. So, route thing, mount fuse box, run thing, make pretty. The body harness connects the engine computer, or ECU, to the engine. It also provides power to the car's chassis like the fuse box, fuel pump, and radiator fans. Here, Brian begins twisting the wires with the engine routing in mind. We use a process called concentric twisting to give them more flexibility so the harness is easier to install. No, this is not the same as spinning the wires together with a drill. Each wire is twisted into layers for the right fit and finish. Throughout this process, he will check the fitment on our sample engine to make sure all of the sensors end up in the correct locations. Once the routing is confirmed, Tay will begin to tape the wires together to make sure they stay in place under the sleeving. This harness is extra long because the ECU is mounted in the front while the engine is mounted in the rear. It keeps going and going and going.
So today we are back up on our way to S Club. So the harness is pretty much well, mostly wired. Now it's just figuring out the correct length. So when you do the wiring, you start at like the, the main engine plug, right? Yeah, we're gonna start from the single point of the main engine plug and work our, our way out to each connector on the engine. Okay. So now we're doing the final cut to length. So I wanted, I have a test one but it doesn't have all the parts, so I want to make sure this one matches exactly his engine so it comes out as nice as possible. So what are some of the, the like inputs we're cutting the length? Like the coils, okay. injectors, cam position, ABCS, crank, oil pressure, throttle position, basically every sensor you find on the engine. I have a rough cut, and this will be the final cut. There you go. So basically we're custom wiring every sensor on this engine to make sure everything runs perfectly for them when they put it into this Porsche. So uh, we'll see you again at S-Club. Brian will now lay the harness onto the actual engine. Normally, this main engine receptacle would be on the back of the engine, but since this is a mid-engine Porsche, the main engine receptacle will be on the front to connect up to the body harness. Brian is working with the S Club team to finalize sensor placement. Once all of the locations are set, he can start cutting the harness to the correct length. Now that the wires are all the correct length, sleeving can begin. The sleeving will protect the harness as well as keep everything together. Brian is cutting each sleeve to length and then shrinking it over the wires. Since there are a lot of sensors on the engine, this process is very time consuming. Lunchable time! For the body harness, we use a mix of tight weave and split sleeving since it will not take as much abuse as the engine harness. Once everything is covered, the connectors for the sensors can be put into place. These sensors include the alternator, TGVs, coil pack plugs, and the connections to the fuse box among many other inputs and outputs the engine will need to drive properly. Each sensor has its own connector, terminal, and seal types. If you're doing your own wiring, we sell replacement parts on our website. Thanks for watching our video. To see the finished product, please check out part two on our YouTube page.